Hey Spark fans, Aubrey here. Suppose you're working on a project that includes a web application and you want to externally display some data or you want to incorporate motion sensing. However, you've already chosen the Raspberry Pi as your computer, you have too many fats on it, and you need to get this sensor on before the deadline is over. That's exactly why we created the Quick Shim, to solve problems like that. The Shim allows you to plug directly into the Pi's I2C bus without soldering so that you can easily cross into the Quick sensor ecosystem. It's so small, it can be sandwiched in between other fats you may be using on your Pi. But if you don't want the bulkiness plus the added capabilities of having a fat, then the Shim can do the trick to connect up just a few sensors. But what's even better than just the Quick Shim is the Quick Shim kit for Raspberry Pi, because it already comes with our most popular Quick sensors and displays, so you don't even have to think about getting those. The kit includes a Quick 9 off IMU breakout board, the 16x2 Quick serial LCD, two Quick cables, one that's 50 millimeters and one that's 100 millimeters, and of course, the Quick Shim. The Shim has a 3.3 volt regulator, so it will work with all Quick devices, even if they don't come in the kit. It's as easy as sliding the Shim onto your Pi, plugging in the Quick connector to the display, the sensor, or daisy chaining both. And just like that, your Pi is plugged in to the Quick ecosystem. You could even use this kit in conjunction with the Jetson Nano developer kit. So if your Pi projects are needing more motion sensing, or perhaps an external display, and you don't want to mess around with getting a clunky fat, pick up the SparkFun Quick Shim kit and get connected to Quick sensors in a second. Get yours at sparkfun.com today and happy hacking. Ready, set, go. That includes a web application. And we're already gonna do a redo, okay. Suppose you have, suppose you're doing this many, many times. And after a great start, here we go. We're off to a great start. And you're failing over and over again. Oh my gosh. Cool.